Hi everybody and welcome back to Yalan app. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to fix Dasher must be active to schedule dashes. So if you're currently facing that exact same error, well then this video is going to be perfect for you. So what you're going to do firstly is to actually close your Dasher app and instead we're going to open up our settings app. So go into your settings app and now you should be taken to a page similar to this as you can see. And now on this page, just scroll down until you can see where it says general and that is exactly where you need to click. So click on general and as you can see, you should now be taken to this page. Now on this page, then what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down and then you're going to click where it says storage. And by the way, if you're using an Android, then of course you're going to be able to also do the exact same steps. Just find storage on your on your Android, sorry. So go into your settings on your Android and then make sure to locate where it says storage. And then after that, it's going to be the exact same step-by-step -step just as if you have an iPhone or Android basically. So now what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down and then we're going to find the Dasher app. So I'm just going to click on the Dasher app here as you can see, so click on it. And then in this page right here, you're going to find where it says offload app and then click on it and then click on offload app once again. And here, as you can see, just going to take a couple of seconds for us here. So just wait a couple of seconds, then click on the blue button here again. And as you can see, it says loading here on my Dasher app now. And that means that my Dasher app is automatically going to auto update to the newest version right now. So I did this myself and it was able to fix this issue for me. So I just waited for it to load. It might, I mean, I don't have a good connection right now, unfortunately. So that is why it's taking a couple of uh, time here for me but if you have a good connection it's going to be pretty quick I think to update your app and then you can just go back and hopefully now this bug is fixed for you.